Hey everybody! I'm here today with a driving lesson on secondary vehicle controls. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of your secondary vehicle controls in your car. These are very important because they serve various roles and functions with regards to you driving safely on the road. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number one is your car's ignition. Now, if you take a look right here, this car actually has a push to start ignition. You also push it to stop and you push it to cycle through the accessory mode and so forth this basically takes the place of the key ignition uh, hole that is usually beside the steering wheel but in you know some other cars it's gonna have a standard key ignition uh, very simple and easy to use you turn it if it's a key or you push it if it's a button uh, you know and push your foot on the brake and so forth but pretty straightforward I don't think I have to go in depth on that the second secondary vehicle control no pun intended the second secondary vehicle control is actually the the exterior lights and usually in most vehicles they're going to be on a lever over here to the left I'll just turn this so hopefully you can see it a bit better uh, in this car I can control them uh, in various ways through this lever over here you can turn various things on and off flash your high beams turn your high beams on and so forth all done through this also basically your signals are on this lever as well but I'll get to that in just a moment but with regards to your exterior lights in some vehicles it's going to be a knob over here on the side so get to know how those work and get to know what turns on whenever you turn your lever or your knob in a certain way Okay. Number three, the third secondary vehicle control uh, is your signals or your hazard lights. Now, in this case, like I said, the lever is over here to the left. If I push it down, it signals left. If I push it up, it signals right. Back in the middle, it cancels everything out and turns off the signals. And if you are signaling left, for instance, and you make a left turn, when you are steering back like that from the turn towards the end of the turn, the signal will most likely turn itself off. And also your hazards, if you push the button, it actually turns on both of your signals. It's called your, they call them your four ways sometimes. Basically, it just means all of, all four of your signals will be on at the same time flashing. And it is used to signal that you are in car trouble, basically, or that you have a hazardous situation, uh, while you are driving. Okay. Uh, number four on this list is your horn. And I'm not going to honk it because there are a few people around the car right now, but your horn is most likely going to be your whole center of your steering wheel or just little buttons on the side of your steering wheel. When you push it down it's gonna go beep it's gonna honk pretty simple and straightforward there's not much to it pretty simple use it but don't abuse it use your horn but don't overdo it okay all right moving forward because uh, you don't want to annoy people most most definitely not uh, moving forward to number five which is the windshield wipers now in this car the windshield wiper levers to the right and in most cars it's going to be the same thing you can move it you know push it up in this case to turn them on and off you can allow them to go intermittently like that at various uh, speeds just like that you can adjust the speed then i can turn them on on a slow speed and then on on a faster speed very simple and straightforward. I can actually pull the lever to spray the windshield, uh, you know, and then I can operate, sorry about that. I can operate the uh, rear windshield wiper with this right over here. So I can turn the rear windshield wiper on and off in this vehicle. Next up on the list is the climate controls, including the defogger. Now those are over here in this car. You can't see them too well, but I mean, in every car, they're going to be different, but for the most part, you're going to have a temperature setting, you're going to have a speed, a fan speed setting, and then you're going to have a few buttons that will allow you to choose the mode of whether it's coming out through these vents or the floor vents, and then you're going to have front and rear defoggers. Just learn how to use them properly because what you don't want is to be driving and then all of a sudden the windows are fogged up and you don't know exactly what to do, how to unfog them. That can be dangerous. Last but not least on this list, number seven, the last secondary vehicle control is the radio slash in car entertainment and on this car this is this whole area right here this whole screen is the radio slash in car entertainment on other cars it might be like you know my older car was just a simple knob and a few buttons on this is more of a digital screen and on some cars like on modern many modern cars you get this massive humongous screen it looks awesome and that is going to be different for every car 
basically I you know I can show you how to use this one but uh, why would I because your car is probably going to be different and a different another car is probably going to be different as well so just learn how to use it read the owner's manual and most of it's pretty straightforward nowadays anyways and that's it those are your secondary vehicle controls if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment please let me know what you think I love reading those comments so let me know down below what you think as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching